Right, good afternoon everyone. I am Sleek Detailing. I'm Rhys, uh, part of Octane Junkies. And today we're just going to run through a few basics like how to clean wheels, how to clay bar and how to glaze. So yeah, let's start with the alloys. But first off, just do a little pre-rinse, wet the wheel. Make sure you just get any little loose bits of dirt out. And then we soak it in wheel cleaner. And then just let it sit for a second. While we're doing that, we just wet all of our brushes. So in the bucket, we've got water and a little tiny bit of shampoo, just to give the bucket, the brushes, <laughs> the brushes um, a little bit more cleaning power. Right, so usually we start with the tires. Just a general rule, really. Um, there's no right or wrong way. There's no right or wrong method. It's just, I prefer to do it this way. And what you're looking for with this is you're looking for basically brown suds. That way you know you're cleaning the wheel. And then we move on to the arches. Oh, this is the sound of Japanese build quality. <laughs> and then this part is sort of personal preference. Some people do the faces first and then the barrels, but I like to do the barrels first. Make sure you get all behind the spokes. That's clearly not suitable for work. Then if you feel the brush starting to pull again, just give it another soak in the bucket. Or if needs be, you can agitate it again. Get them suds back. And then you just go at it again. Remember where you, where you stopped. Another good rule as well is when you're pulling the brush out, if you just give it a little twist around, it'll get behind the spokes a little bit better. Because a lot of the time you'll find yourself, you'll go back and you'll wipe the wheel with a cloth and you'll find loads of dirt come off it. So this is just a way to stop that and prevent yourself from having to clean the wheel all over again. And then we just get a little detailing brush. It doesn't really matter which one. You can get like a, a stiff bristled or you can get a soft bristle just again personal preference really I tend to go over soft bristle as it just it seems to hold product more give that little cat a scrub <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing about black alloys as well is like obviously you know where you've worked like sometimes certain colours they don't really tell you where you've done and where you've missed so it's a bit of a guessing game, but with black alloys, you can see. And then once we've done all that, just switch the jet wash on. Shiny. We'll give it a good rinse off, make sure we get all the soap and product off. And there we have it, that is how you clean an alloy the sleek way. <laughs> 